Whether a parent or not, each day there are people with disabilities hard at work, serving employers and the public. But despite abilities and performance, unemployment among people with developmental disabilities is far above that experienced by the general population. I think that things are improving at not an acceptable rate, but at a rate that says there's progress being made. There are jobs there that could be performed reasonably, easily, with very small adaptations for adults with developmental disabilities. They need to have a champion in the workplace um, from the general population of, of their workforce that will act as a champion and take charge of uh, working people into their, uh, into their workforce. Uh, in case after case that we've seen, there always seems to be a champion wherever there's successful integration of, uh, of adults with disabilities into the workforce. The duties that may be involved run the gamut with a sense of diligence and responsibility leading the way. I am very, um, very proud of myself for, for having that ability to take on more responsibilities. Northview sends out little reminder cards, so I, I attach all the, the address labels on there and mail them out. Um, from time to time, I, I see charts out of order as far as the alphabet, so I, I go back and, and redo them so they're all in alphabetical order. I'm able to take some of the burden off their, uh, their daily uh, workload. I am full of energy and I'll, I'll, I'll do whatever it takes to get the job done. <laughs> I had to actually sell this to my partners and to my staff. It's kind of unusual. And I had a, a meeting. Oh, well, Don has been with us over a year. So about a year and a half ago, we had an all-day staff meeting. And I've introduced the fact that we're going to have an employee here that's going to help us out in the business area and what Don's job would be and whatnot. The disabled word has to come up, you know, and has to, he has a person with disabilities and, and what is the disability? Always qu people question that, you know, and I said, you know, just relax because I said, you know, well, what if he can't do this and what if it messes things up for us? And I said, the reality is he's going to be the, make you happy every day that you did something good and we're going to all work together and help all well. And I says that next year, you're going to be finding jobs for, our, for Don to do, and that's exactly what came out. Office settings also benefit from hiring people with disabilities, including the Nylon Johnson Lewis Law Firm in downtown Minneapolis, where Jackie Kirkpatrick is employed. I help the law librarian out with, with, with um, library and stuff. They're um, in the right in the right spot so when they come to look for something they need to pull something they can find it. Yeah Jackie she's very happy here been here uh, five plus years um, and has no plans on on leaving <laughs> so but she's and she's she's meeting their expectations here or, or and beyond I would say so working a lot with the, the law librarian at the firm uh, shelving books filing uh, paperwork um, so that that can be a little bit different each time and so I just help to make sure Jackie uh, understands what needs to be done so they make sure they're done the right way. She uh, lives in her own apartment and uh, gets to and from work on her own on using the light rail and uh, visits many family members using the public transportation outside of work, you know, go shopping on her own and uh, so yes, yeah, she's she's very, very independent person. Jackie has just been spectacular. Uh, you know, she is very independent and self-sufficient and has really done just a great job for us. And it's always been important for us to make sure that we have a diverse work environment. I think we started out with some general cleaning types of things and now we've got our filing and we've got her going off-site to do um, drop-offs and pickups for us and she's really, really progressed in what she's been able to handle. It's been fun to watch. Increasingly, people with developmental disabilities are employed directly with greater independence and competitive wages. Nick Wright is a regular employee at the large Social Security Administration District Office in St. Paul. I work on uh, the clerical work. I send letters out to the claimants. I also work in the mailroom, uh, sort mail, uh, put them in the slots where they belong, and 
I also do some of the uncoded mail that sometimes there is. I, I really enjoy the variety of jobs. Nick Wright is um, a contributing member of our team and uh, one of the things that we like to provide our employees is um, a place where they feel valued and their contribution is recognized. But we also have to have an inclusive environment where uh, the public is reflected um, in our workforce. Nick is gaining uh, not only confidence but more experience and knowledge about the critical day-to-day -day operation of his um, job. We feel that he is growing in his job and making progress. Some organizations employ substantial numbers of people with disabilities. Securian has nine individuals with disabilities at various locations within its St. Paul headquarters offices. Scott works in the high-tech mail center. I mean, I pick up and I deliver mail, and I do A3 and I do A4. I've done that for a few years, and then I help with, uh, they have a machine, you know, that seals envelopes and also puts stamps on them, and it's not technically part of it, but I just do that to help out, you know. It gets it done quicker, and then that way it doesn't take them as long to do. Scott has actually done four different uh, functions in this area in the, in the mail center. He's delivered mail to all but four floors throughout the two buildings. So when you look at the 400 building, it has 21 floors. The 401 has 13 floors. He's done all but uh, four of those floors. Between incoming mail and then also inner office mail, uh, about 15,000 pieces of mail per day. On top of that, between his runs, he has to help out with uh, catching mail, with resorting a mail, folding, inserting. So it's their abilities that we look at with, uh, more than anything. We try to match their skill sets to a job, to a function, and then we train them on that function. The associates that I've had work in my area, um, they, they show up on time or early. Uh, they, they are here consistently. And, and the thing I love is they love their job. They appreciate their job, they love their job, and, and we love having them here. Local government also provides employment opportunities for people with challenges. Rodney Griffin, who has cerebral palsy, has worked for the city of Minnetonka for 10 years. It's, a, it's an exceptional place to work. I scan documents, such as microfish and paper documents, just those, those, those two things. I supervise Rodney Griffin, who's a person with disabilities, and he, he has a very important role in our city of helping with our conversion of microfiche to our digital document management system. Staff love working with Rodney. I have enjoyed getting to know Rodney as a supervisor, and he is a valuable part of the city workforce. It's very important for, to provide good service to your customer that you're reflective of the customer you're serving. So as diverse as you can get in, in your workforce, I think that really helps with the service you provide. To provide the best customer service, I would highly encourage people to consider people with disabilities as employees. Obtaining employment opportunities remains a key objective of the Vocational Rehabilitation Unit of the Minnesota Department of Employment and Economic Development. Steve Kunst notes that there are multiple points of entry for state employment. To me, it's all about abilities and skills, and the disability is really a, a secondary issue. We assist managers, the HR, the leadership within these agencies of understanding the value of hiring people with disabilities. I think from a manager's perspective, working with that individual with a disability, uh, many times it's communication, communication, communication. It's really talking with that individual about what their needs are, what the expectations. So many times um, employers are afraid to hire an individual with a disability because they don't want to have to let them go. And really working with them to have that expectation and treat them like they would any other employee and be respectful of them um, in regards to their disability. Retailing is an area where the employment of people with disabilities is now becoming commonplace. An outstanding example is Brad Brown at Walgreens in St. Paul, who was a cashier and on track for continuing advancement. Well, when they walk in the door, you say hello, and then when they're ready to check out, you bring them up to the register, and then you 
Ask them if they found everything all right, and if they didn't, you help them find what they're looking for before you check them out. I cashier. I, uh, I do some stocking, and I help customers, basically customer service. When you're doing ad takes, you gotta look at the numbers, you gotta look at the WIC numbers, and you gotta make sure that they match. Because if they don't match, then it's not the WIC number that it's supposed to be, and that's not where it goes. Brad came in for an interview, and he just really sold me. I mean, it was just his presence, the way he dressed. Um, he was very focused. He started as a cashier, and he still is mostly a cashier. Um, he does stock work um, on warehouse day. He does put the product on the shelf where it belongs. He has daily contact with all customers that come in the store. He'll ask if they need help, and he'll go over and help them get something off the wall or down the aisle. He knows the store. It's very customer-oriented, you know, and that's part of the job. Walgreens National Manager of Outreach and Employee Services, Deb Russell, said the company is committed to employing people with disabilities across the country. People with disabilities are just as or better than uh, the individuals without disabilities who are doing our jobs. We need people to be efficient and effective, and um, that's what we found so far with our, with our pilot programs in the stores. Many stores, I hear the, the stories that the customers are seeking out the employees they know have disabilities. They want that individual to serve them. Because all of our distribution centers took on the charge of, of looking to find partners so they could intentionally recruit individuals with disabilities. We'll continue uh, as we have opportunities to be able to offer them to people with and without disabilities and increase our, the inclus inclusiveness of our, of our workforce. It's not only drug stores, but retail soft goods as well. I process items in the back room that need to be processed. I like to help people out processing and putting things out onto the floor. And kitchen items, bath and beauty, candles and stuff, yeah. They are there to help um, receive the truck and process the truck and get the merchandise ready to go out to the sales floor. Uh, Rachel has um, also done, um, when they're finished in the back room getting the merchandise ready, she's able to come out to the sales floor and help um, merchandise some of the, the new product. Never have to um, make a phone call and say, where, where are you today? So reliable, dependable, definitely at the top of the list. Not all are employed by others. Some have their own businesses. David Quillish is a management consultant. One of my personal focuses throughout my career has been to work with business professionals and IT professionals and, and the various customer constituencies they serve. Uh, try to help people who don't often do a good job of speaking each other's language mm -hmm. to, uh, <laughs> to understand each other and deliver an effective result. The challenge remains opening up employment opportunities for people with developmental disabilities and reducing the great imbalance in joblessness. Creatively remedying the problem will come with both vigorous efforts to ensure that people with developmental disabilities are not arbitrarily excluded, and by spreading the concept that employers should remember to focus on one's abilities, the elements that can truly benefit a business. That will enable people with disabilities to benefit as well and make greater contributions to our communities.